Our next stitch that I will demonstrate is a closed fly stitch. I opted to use the hoop this time around and this bottom part has the lip. Top part goes on top and then you just tighten the screw until it's softly taut. With your threaded yarn, go underneath. Spot an, a, a generous eighth of an inch to the left of the line and come up. Go down an eighth of an inch to the right of your guideline. And then in one step, go underneath and come up on the line to form a V. And with my thumb, I'm holding the yarn out of the way so it gets caught underneath. And there's your V. Next stitch that I will take will be about a quarter inch away. And again, as before, about an eighth of an inch from the line, pull. forming a Y. Go down parallel to where I came up from behind. Take a stitch down and come up at the base of that Y. And again, with my thumb, I'm holding the yarn out of the way and I release when I'm close. And just continue down a quarter inch away, come up about an eighth of an inch to the left. Eighth of an inch to the right. Come up at the base of that Y. And you can change it up. I mean, you can make it deeper. You can make these shallower. Um, it's your personal style. You can make it closer together, further apart. And that just... Um, is your personal preference. To complete this row of stitches, um, I simply go down at the very end to form the stem of that Y. And then in the back, as I've done before, take a tiny stitch through the loop twice, forms your knot.